Hello everybody, what's up? Today we're going to do a collector showcase. This is number two, or volume two, or issue two. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Um, the last one I did was uh, Prospects, MLB Pipelines, Top 100 Prospects. That was a while ago. I figure I haven't done anything like this in a while. And it's Wednesday, so there's no mail. I thought I would uh, take some time and go over some of my dual, triple, and even quad signed uh, stuff that I have. A lot of what I have here, matter of fact, like 99% of it, is TTM or cards I can sign. And we're going to do these. This is sort of a vintage stack. These are from my sets. 64 tops and 73 tops. This is just sort of um, miscellaneous, whatever. Um, they're all cards, but they could be any year or, or whatever. And these are flats. They don't really fit with my cards, but they're still kind of cool, interesting items. So I'm going to go kind of fast because this video could easily be 20 minutes if I start telling too many stories. I might stop to add uh, some comments about how I got a card or interesting fact about the player, things like that. But other than that, I'm probably going to move kind of fast. I would be really happy if I was able to keep this to under like 15 minutes. So, 64 tops, one of my favorite sets. I have about, oh, around 200. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just put it right here. That's how many I, um, 64 tops I have signed. Most through the mail, some I've purchased, um, you know, consigned, whatever. And a, a lot of them are, are dual signed or triple signed. So let's take a look here. Uh, Gary Peters, Juan Pizarro, Camille Pasquale. These two guys still, still sign. Pasquale no longer signs. Uh, nice triple signed item here, all in blue. Really cool card. Uh, Camille Pascal again and Jim Bouton. Uh, I do not have Whitey Ford on here. Um, obviously, I'll never have Whitey Ford on here. But uh, it's just one of those things that even when he was alive, I couldn't afford. You know, it was like 40 bucks and I was getting other stuff and I just never got it. There's always something, you know, you're always making a compromise when you collect on a budget. Um, anytime you get one thing done, you're not getting something else done. And this is just one of those things I never... Never got around to completing. Jim Bouton, unfortunately, no longer signs. His health is starting to fail. We wish him the best because he's been a great to fans for many, many, many decades. Another Camille Pasquale, Jim Bunning, Hall of Famer, rest in peace. Dick Stigman, all in blue, another leader's card. I have a lot of these 64 tops uh, rookie cards that are signed by both, both players. I have several that are signed by one. And there's only maybe five or six that I don't have signed at all because either both players are deceased or I just don't have the actual card. And obviously pretty hard to get signed if you don't have it. So Bob Pretty, Tom Butters. I believe Butters has passed away since I got this. Here's a checklist. Claude Osteen and Ron Pruitt. I just figured that's a good way to get a card signed is pick some guys that are on the checklist. Cardinals team, Jack Damascia, Bobby Shantz, Duke Carmel, and what's the one I can't read? I always write them down. Gary Kolb. That's Gary Kolb. There you go. And these look really great because they have the light backgrounds um, for, uh, for 64 tops. Jim Britton, Larry Maxey, another rookie card. Bruce Howard, Frank Crutzer. This one looks great because it looks almost like they use the same pen practically. A's team. I like to try to get these without cheating. Chuck Asijin, Ted Bowsfield, Diego Segui, and Shaky Joe Grizenda. That is Bobby Richardson and Jim Gentile. Again, I always... Oh, I don't on that one. Usually I have a kind of a cheat sheet on the back in case I forget or something. This is one of my favorite Yankees Young Aces. Jim Bouton. Al Downing. Al Downing still signs. Uh, of course, he's most famous for giving up uh, Hank Aaron's record-breaking 750th home run. Jerry Grote. 
who was part of the Miracle Mets in 69. Larry Yellen. Jake Gibbs, Tom Metcalf, another rookie card. Al Ferrara, Jeff Torborg. Senators team, Claude Osteen and Don Locke. I believe Don Locke has since passed away. Claude Osteen still signs, and I think has still a pretty nice signature, too. Woody Woodward, Jack Smith. A lot of players on a Chicago White Sox team card. Let's see, Ron Hansen, Ken Berry, Gary Peters, J.C. Martin, and Pete Ward. And here's my cheat sheet I told you about. I got them all. Bobby Knopp, who was a very good defensive second baseman. I believe he had six, uh, turned six double plays in one game to set a, a record. Uh, I recall when I was researching to send to him. I don't know if it still holds or not, but... Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool record to have, or at least share with somebody. Bob Lee, also on that Angels rookie card. Jerry Arago, Dwight Siebler. Joe McCabe, Jerry McNertney, who of course I think of as a Seattle pilot because I am more familiar with the pilots than really any other team from the 60s. Dave Gray, Dick Egan, Duel. Jerry Hensley, Bill Wakefield. Again, a lot of these older players, I mean, it's, it seems like they almost find the same pen to sign with. And some of these are kind of beat up. This one has a big crease here. But I'm primarily an autograph collector. That's my main thing. So I, it doesn't affect me at all unless it, like, makes this, the autograph look funny. I really don't care that you can really see it now. See that crease? Doesn't even phase me. Texas Rangers team card. Now we're on to 73, so it's another set I collect. And here's how many... Where's my finger? Here's how many total 73 tops cards I have signed. And again, these are just the duels or triples or whatever. So Rangers team, Bill Fahey, and whose name can I not read? Tom Ragland. That's in the bottom. Not as, uh, not as easy to see because they have a natural background in these. But I like the manager and coach cards this year because it gives you just more more people to um, see and, and collect and all that stuff. Uh, by the time I started doing this set, Don Zimmer's wife was already ghost signing for him. So I was never able to get him. But we have Bob Skinner and Dave Garcia. Clay Carroll, Sparky Liar, Lyle, rather. Uh... Leaders card, a uh, fireman. Um, they did a weird thing here where they assign them points based on, uh, like saves and innings and, and here's the breakdown. But, um, I always thought that was interesting. I haven't seen that in any other, um, tops years, but they did it for 73 and, um, Lyle and Carol both had really nice careers. Here's a Dodgers team card. I got a lot of people on this one. So some of them even signed over. Al Downing, Claude Osteen's kind of underneath it. That's Ron Paranoski. Ron Say, the Penguin. Um, Charlie Huff. And this one in black, I cannot read. Bill. Here we go. Oh, is that Bobby Valentine? Yeah, Bobby Valentine. There you go. Bobby V. And he signs still. Eddie Casco, Lee Stange. Here's an Astros team card. Roger Metzger. And some of these, there's one in ballpoint here. I don't even know if you can see it. And this one's really hard to read. This one didn't turn out really great. We're going to have to go to our cheat sheet. Gary Sutherland, Tommy Helms, Norm Miller, and Roger Metzger. They're all on there somewhere. Not the best one. Probably the worst one. Cardinals team. Uh, I see Diego Segui. He's on a lot of teams. Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson's written over somebody. Oh, that's Shaky Joe Grazinda again. I'm not sure who that is. Cheat sheet. Uh, Ed Crosby. And uh, Joe Grazinda actually signed the back of this. Uh, at the the post-it, too. So I got that's a twofer, I guess. 
Angels. Oh, I'm already up to 10 minutes. I have to start cooking here. Angels, Ken Berry, Dick Lange. Um, again, the ballpoint, kind of hard to read on these. Don Rose, Ricky Clark, Tom Dukes. Those are the others. Orioles, Don Buford, Andy Echeverian, and Tom Chopay. Royals, there's Bobby Knopp, Ron Hansen. I recognize those because I have them on other cards. Eddie Fisher, not Princess Leia's dad, a different Eddie Fisher. Someone's always got to say it. Tom Egan, Eddie Fisher, Tom Egan. This is probably one of my more complete coach cards. Uh, Jack McKeon, Galen Sisko, Harry Dunlop. The Harry Dunlop's a little bit smeared, but still turned out really nicely. Jack McKeon sure looks young there. I'm not used to seeing him. Uh, three rookies on a card in 73. Steve Busby, Dick Calipert, and George Doc Medic. All in blue. That one turned out nicely. Still need Steve Lawson on this. There's some reason I don't have it. Either he's deceased or he doesn't sign. Uh, Bob Reynolds, Brent Strom. Uh, it, is he still the pitching coach for Houston? I don't know. He was for a long, long time. I haven't kept up on that, but, uh, anyway, Del Crandall, Joe Nosek. That's it for the vintage type stuff. The older tops. Um, I am really shocked that I only had, oh, I can only find two certified, um, duels, which is kind of ridiculous. But again, I've said in other videos, I don't open packs like you guys do. As a matter of fact, you've, you've all got me back into it. And so this is just proof positive that, yeah, most of my stuff has just been whatever. I buy this stuff and get it signed as I get it. Most of this stuff. So. Anyway, just two measly little dual certifieds, Nick Marcakis, Carlos Quinton, and this is Nolan Reimold, Reimold, Josh Reddick. Okay, we're getting there. We're going to go a little faster through these and our flats. Wade Boggs, he signs for $10. Do not shortchange him. He will not sign. At one point, he was $5 per and people started sending him two and three and four and five dollars. There are five cards for five dollars. And he's so nice that he kept signing him, signing them. And eventually he got burned out. Then he stopped for a couple months. And then he came out with a price list of ten dollars flat for any card, except rookies, I believe, are 20. So, <clears throat> pardon me, the money goes to charity that he takes in from this. Um, do not shortchange him. Do not, do not take money away from kids' charities. Uh, it's really a disgrace that people do that, but I guarantee you there's people now still trying to skirt, uh, his pricing and send him multiples for, and just a minimum $10. And hopefully he's holding fast to his price list so that people will have to respect it. Uh, it would be a shame that if he stopped signing, because I have this and I have four or five other things of his and, they're all really awesome, and and honestly, there's no reason that we should ruin that for for other people. Um, anyway, Wade Boggs, Spike Owen. By the way, Spike Owen, Spike is Spike Owen's real first name. It's not a nickname. Spike Owen. Pete Ward, Don Buford. I guess there's a few vintage in here. 76 tops. The autograph over here is really hard to see. I'm forgetting who it is. Terry Humphrey is that one in blue. And the other one's Gary Sutherland. Not one of my better ones. Steve Kiefer, Danny Tartable, 85 Flair. The 67 Tops, Larry Stahl, Ron Tompkins. That one turned out nice. This is one of the very first dual or triple things I ever completed. Uh, Jim Morrison, Lonnie Smith, Jim Wright. Nice card. Joel Skinner. And Chris James. And this is Felix Fermin, who I've tried to track down for a while. He signed through something called Pass Pros, but he stopped. And my understanding is, is that his health isn't great. 
and that he's just not signing at all. So don't know if I'll ever get all three on that, but that's kind of fun. Even though it's one of the 91 players, one of the absolute ugliest cards ever. Might be the ugliest cards. 76 Phillies. Tom Hilgendorf. Larry Christensen. Ooh, I'll have to look it up. Larry Boa. Terry Harmon. Jim Lomborg. Uh, I'll have to look it up. Let's look it up. Let's see what we got here. Ron Schubler, Larry Boa, there's Hillendorf, Hargan, Randy Lurch, I missed him before. Hutton, Jim Lomborg. There's a lot of autographs on there. It's like a hide and seek game. How am I doing? 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. Phillies. We're just going to read them off. Ed Ott, Dave Cassini, Rich Hebner, Jim Rooker. They're all on there. This is a, what, 92 tops? It's the only quad I think I have signed. And this I got through something called Signatures for Soldiers. Uh, if you don't know about them, Google them, look them up. Or what? Maybe I'll leave a link below. But um, a friend of mine, Tom, he gets players to sign cards uh, basically for free to support the organization. Then he sells them. Then he donates that money to um, disabled veterans um, charity, and he's raised something like $40,000, 42000 last I heard, and it's just awesome, and you get autographs, and you get to support disabled veterans, and this is one of the cooler ones I've got, I've got a lot of stuff from him, but Craig Paquette, Frank Bullock, Tom Reddington, and Phil Russo, 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 this one's really cool, another vintage that I forgot I had hidden in here. Barry Latman, Dick Stigman, Jim Perry, Tribe Hill Trio. That turned out nice. Two of these guys charged me $5 each, but was really happy to do it, to get that done. 70 tops. AL playoff, game three, birds wrap it up. Boog Powell, and if you're an Oriole fan, you know who the catcher is. Got kind of a unibrow, played for a long time, but he's a cool guy. That is Andy Echeverian. Uh, Phillies leaders, 87 tops. Glenn Wilson, Juan Samuel, who was one of my favorites when I was a kid, because I always liked fast guys. And Vaughn Hayes. Here's a cool triple, the cycle score. I forget what year this is. Um, da -da 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 -da. 94 score. The cycle. J. Bell. Mickey Morandini, Brian McRae. I want to say two of those were TTM, and then I think I had help getting McRae. But that turned out really cool. That's one of my favorites. This, I think, is the very first dual uh, card I got done exclusively uh, TTM. Ron LaFleur, Ron Scott, 81 tops. Expos. Again, I always like stolen base guys. Cool, really cool card. Yeah. <clears throat> Rookie card, Alan Nicely, Bobby Sproul, Danny Heap is kind of a really flaky signer, or he charges, I forget which, but never have finished that one, maybe one day. Doug Kaninsky and Gary Lavelle, rookie, more rookie cards. Uh, Fran Mullins, Rusty Kuntz, 81 tops. Here's a Giants team card. How are we doing? 18, almost up to 19 minutes. Dave Rader, Mike Sadik, Gary Laville, Mark Hill. If you watch this whole thing, you are one of my personal heroes. 82 tops, Don, Eddie, Dave Lemons. Again, you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a big crease here. Doesn't affect me any. Again, cool kind of pen matching. I don't know if they did it on purpose, but um, both of these guys have since passed away. I finished this a couple years ago. And, uh, anyway, this is kind of one of my favorite ones. I think it looks great. Uh, we'll do that one last. There's a lot of names on there. Bill Campbell, Raleigh Eastwick. Both very good pitchers. Burt Campanaris, Chris Spire. All-star shortstops. Spire signs for money now, and Campanaris is kind of spotty. Sometimes he signs, sometimes he doesn't. Couple of sluggers for the Rangers. Juan Gonzalez, Will Nushler Clark. Uh, when I first really became a huge baseball fan and finally had money to buy sports cards and all that stuff, uh, these guys were just absolutely huge. 
and uh, they both signed for free through the mail. So this one's really cool. It's one of my favorite favorite cards. More vintage. Don Bryant, Steve Shea. This one, Bill Grief, Ray Bussey. Uh, I can get J.R. Richard. It's just one of those things where I have to prioritize it because it's through past pros. And I want to say he's $20. So I can finish this card, but I have to not spend the $20 on something else. And that is always a challenge for me. Sal Bando, Ron, Sh Ron Schwartz, Ray Schwartz. Randy Schwartz, huh. got it wrong twice. And this is one of those clear stickers, and I just got a bunch of expos from the mid to late 70s to sign it. And all these guys played together at one point. Oh, it's not in the frame. Uh, if you think you recognize any of these names, pause the video and uh, type it in below, I guess. I'll reveal it in a second here. Three, two, one. We're up to 21 minutes now on our video that I wanted to keep under 15. Dan Worthen, Barry Foote, Jim Little, Jim Cox, Jose Morales, Gary Renicky, and Del Unser. And these are the years that they played. And at one point, they all played, uh, they all played on the 76 team. So these guys were all teammates, you know, for all intents and purposes. Um, at least at one point in 76. And some played other years on the Expos too. Couple other things, and then we're out of here. Um, this is an all-star ballot from 1974. And the reason I picked 74 for this little project is because that's the year I was born. And I thought it'd be cool to get some autographs on here and then check the little box. So we have a Larry Boa, Ron Say, Dick Green, Frank Duffy here. Belton Bill Melton, Rich Hebner, Richie Hebner, and Greg Luzinski. Um, there's probably some more people I could have added to this uh, in the time that I started this project, but I stopped getting autographs on this, um, like Chris Chambliss, for example, he signs. Um, I stopped getting autos on this like five or six years ago. Just for whatever reason, I got distracted. And so I haven't really added any, but that's kind of a cool thing to have. Okay, last couple things I have. These are printouts of covers of old baseball digests. Bill, Sor Bill Short, Claude Osteen, Art Mahaffey. This, let's do that one last. This is Burton Caponeris and Sal Bando. No, I don't have Reggie Jackson on there. I never will have Reggie Jackson on there. If I paid to get Reggie, I would get a ball or uh, a, probably a 73 tops or something like that. So that'll never happen, but still pretty cool. Uh, this is Jay Johnstone and Rich Nye, not signed by Rod Carew. Um, same kind of thing where I would just get him on something else and not one of these. I actually have two of these. If you made it this far in this video, Again, you're my personal hero. Be the first to tell me your favorite all-time Chicago Cub in the comments below. And I'm going to give you this one if you want it. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It's been very long. It's easily my longest video. I don't even know if it'll upload. But we'll do these every once in a while when mail's slow or I just want to show something off. And we'll call it Collection show click Showcase or Collector's Showcase. And just a chance to show you some of my autographs and uh, just whatever, what motivates me, what I like. And uh, I appreciate you taking this time and um, checking this stuff out with me. Anyway, until next time, see you later.